All right, guys, I'm underneath the foundation here. Here's what I've been calling the beam. It's a true, uh, fairly rough sawn four by six. This is a standard post hanger and it does not fit because it is a true four by six. Here's these edge pads that were poured to carry this load. Of course, there's those legs to leg this outer beam to the inner one. And you can see that there's no space in there. That's kind of why I did that. Because it, uh, it seems to be resting on top. There's another beam here, another four by six. It seems to be resting up there, but not down here on this one. I, uh, I mined out part of the foundation. Here's the, uh, oops. There's the existing foundation wall. This wall here. It's about five and a half inches, give or take. And right now, I'm down 34 inches, exactly right there. Sorry, I'm kind of moving the camera around and stuff. Now the question I have is, there's the other side, I haven't started yet. How do I carry this outer wall of the house? Right now, it's resting on this jacks, and these pads are going to be in the way. So, when I mine this out, when I mine all this out to put in the foundation, that is going to go away, unfortunately. Now, the thought is here that I could, uh, I could take one of those pier blocks and basically just post up every few feet that may be what I have to do but I mean could I just leave that pier block here and that post there and form up in between it or something and then pour or how do I get around this little I don't know I don't know that I could carry this outward anyway um, there's the, f the first floor joist past the beam and you probably want to know measurements and how far how far this is away from that so it is just about 19 and a half inches. And this is a five and a half by probably an inch and a half, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's an inch and a half for the floor joist. So basically two by six floor joists. So the question is, I mean, do I just put one of these one of these piers over there and let the whole way to the house just hang while I'm doing this, maybe jack it up a little higher. Or right here on this corner, on this foundation wall, I have this jack and it's going to this beam and it's kind of carried in that fashion. I don't know, maybe I could do something like that, but I'd have to do it way back there where I just kind of carry one side of it and, and put a post and a jack over there or something. But Anyway, I'm kind of wondering what the best way to do this or get steel or something and come down here with steel and then when I pour this foundation just mud in the steel. Anyway, thoughts? Thanks.